this is the next area that I'm taking care of. I decided to try Italian cypress and I have 10 of them here. I had planted the three on the left already um, and then I went and got seven more so that I, I don't know, I've been painting a lot of oil paint of Provence where they have in southern France a lot of Italian cypress and they line them up along the paths like hundreds of them. Uh, so I figured 10 would be a good start. <laughs> My big issue here is I didn't want to block. Uh, we always drive up this way to bring um, wood and plants and mulch and all. Um, but I really hate this area. This was a former horse pasture and uh, the grass is really nasty over here or weeds or whatever you want to call it. So I would love to be able to... Um, redesign this space because it's you come in the front driveway through the woods and this is the first opening or clearing and this is what you see when you come in so i kind of wanted it to be majestic um i would love to plant a bunch of uh, magnolias as well but the one thing that i didn't want to do is block off drivability for you know the utv or you know, a trailer to pull things in. And actually, ultimately, <laughs> what's that dog doing? Looking at himself in the mirror. Um, I want to put a swimming pool down this area. So I need to be conscious. And there actually is an easement on the other side of the truck where trucks can come in for the power lines. But I wanted to make sure that um, my son could drive in and out and maybe make this a circular drive for him. And then um, put another Bismarck palm so that... Um, it mimics the other side, the other big, beautiful Bismarck palm that we have. But I'm not going to do the sunshine with the gushrams and the lower petals on this side. I'll think, think of something else. Anyway, uh, I have to get digging before that sun comes up. It's already uh, too high over the tree line. I guess I got off to a late start. I just watered these, and those three were here already, but I gave them more water. And then I planted these two just now. So if I could give you this angle here, you can see the five cypress trees and I'll have to stake them, I guess, and make sure that they grow straight, but I'm sure they'll kind of do that on their own. Um, or I'll tamp them in a little bit better so that they are straighter. But that's that side, on to the next side. Okay, this is the first line done. I probably leaned a little bit too much to the right. I probably should straighten this out um, because they're growing wonky. Like this is six feet from the drive and that's four feet from the drive. So I'm gonna have to straighten that out. This side is much better. And uh, it's just weird because it's an optical illusion. No matter where you look from it, it looks like they're not uh, parallel to each other and it looks like they're not aligned but I tried to align them as much as possible from the road here um, but I can't stand back in the pasture and look at it because it looks like I should have planted this this first one on the right side over by the pot and the shovel so it's kind of an optical illusion but I'm sure once they grow in and they can grow 40 to 60 feet tall Hopefully they are subject to um, spider mites here in Florida. So uh, we'll have to keep an eye out for that. But I think it'll dress up this area nicely and give it, you know, you kind of come out of the woods when you drive onto the property and then you think you're in an opening, uh, but you're not because uh, these will grow up and form like a little tunnel. But now that I'm looking at this from this angle, definitely um, those look straight to me. But I need to push that, push, slant it like a foot or two uh, away from the driveway on the far end over there. But anyway, this is how it looks. And I think it will be beautiful.